Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Now when Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he went through to Galilee. He left Nazareth and made his home in Capernaum by the sea, in the territory of Zebulun and Naphtali, so that what had been spoken through the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulun, land of Naphtali, on the road by the sea, across the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people who sat in darkness had seen a great light. For those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light was dawn. From that time, Jesus began to proclaim, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. As he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, <coughs> in the boat with their father, Zebedee, mending the nets. And he called them. Immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogue and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness among the people. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ.
outdoor type of guys to leave it all behind and go with Jesus. You can't be sure that they were not taken in by a weak, timid, sweet baby Jesus type of personality. Jesus has something of an edge. The kingdom of heaven has come near Jesus to him. The Gospel of Matthew normally has Jesus saying the kingdom of heaven. Other places, in other Gospels, Jesus, you hear Jesus saying the kingdom of God is a favorite phrase. Well, really, you can use those two interchangeably. Using heaven is really a sign of respect for the name of God. It's good about Jews or want to do the kingdom of heaven has come here. First of all, what I want you to do is clear your mind in this case of heaven as a place, such as a place that people go after they die. That's not what Jesus means in this case. No, it doesn't make any sense. How can heaven, a place, arrive someplace else? What Jesus means is that God is near, that God's way is so very close to you. So instead of thinking of the kingdom of heaven as the place, imagine this. The nearness of God is near. It means that God is so very close, but God can only come so close without your invitation because God is not going to force anything of God on you. God needs you, your willingness, and your cooperation to open the world on God's behalf. The kingdom of heaven is come near. In fact, Jesus says, repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. Repent, Jesus says. Now, the trouble with that word is that people have not often understood it. You may think of repent as feeling bad about it or feeling remorse about what you have done or left undone. Nonsense. Not at all. It means new direction, everybody. A new direction. It means to turn around, literally, to turn around and go the other way. Or stop what you're doing now if it's not working. And do the opposite instead. How you feel about things doesn't really matter to you. It depends on what you do. Well, there it is. It's happened again, again yesterday, so close. If the world is littered with death and darkness and discouragement, it is time to turn around, to go the other way, to go to God's way, to God's kingdom of light, peace, healing, and forgiveness. Because if we are called to be light bearers, and we insist on darkness, then darkness is what we give. If we are called to be peace people, and we insist on violence, then violence is what we give. If we are called to bring God's love and forgiveness into the world, and we insist on hating one another, Hatred is what we give. New direction, everyone. It's time to go in a new direction. Stop what you're doing. If it's not working, then we need to find a way to do the opposite. Don't go that way. Go this way instead. This way, meaning the way of God and the way of Jesus. Now, in the midst of all of that, I want to stop for a moment and commend the repentance the new direction of this community right here. We commend your repentance. And by that I mean the old direction, the old way as I understand it, the way of conflict and mistrust. That way in this community was not working, and it put the future of this community in peril. The new way. The new way is to be a way of grace, cooperation, and seeing and expecting the best in each other. Now, it may have taken a descent in the tragedy and darkness to get our attention, but we are now 